The green screen is still broken. I mean, it's green, but it's not foldable. It's very annoying, but uh, we got Sweden in the background. So what we're doing today is quite the big contrast from our usual videos, like speed or fast mode that's hella stressful we're doing a how to play amateur i mean fast mode is not all about doing zero evidence runs doing speed runs just making things as hard as it possibly can for us and that is what i'm gonna show you today you can have a lovely time and you don't need to stress yourself to bits let's do amateur on six tango drive all right we're here okay we got most tier three stuff so maybe maybe it's a bit overkill i will try to explain as much as i can in this video okay what my thought process is what we're doing why we're doing it we keep we keep as basic as possible so so we have different type of evidences here in phasmophobia we have ghost orbs which is seen through a camera we have dots which is seen through a dots projector we have ghost writing when it writes in the book yeah the, we got spirit box when it speaks to you through the spirit box we got an emf reader gives signal of the ghost and if it's a emf5 that's an evidence we got the thermometer if it's below freezing not on freezing but below freezing it's freezing temps and we've got the uv when a ghost interacts with objects like doors lights the breaker box a um freezer mirror stuff like that it gives um ultraviolet evidence so yeah that is the evidence that we got and to start with i always like to do a thermometer a emf and a video camera so here on amateur we got three pieces of evidence from that itself we can tell which ghost it is so every words i got an ghost riding ultraviolet and emf we got a miling but uh, yeah we shall get going in here now first of all it's time to look for the ghost room i love to start with the um, with the thermometer and just go through every room is in my opinion the best way okay so you heard it throw something in this through something in this general direction which means the ghost is there it's a very high chance that this is the ghost room so it threw something here or in here so first of all we're going in here oh we got a nice bone as well so the bone evidence ha gives you more money you just need to take a picture of it or just pick it up so yeah it threw something in here which probably means it's in Okay, I'm not gonna go into anything special zero evidence like, which I love to do. Oh, we have a mare. We got a mare. Ignore that. So when compared to other rooms, a specific room, it's colder. You know, it's a ghost room. I really don't think we did. Again. Don't want to go into zero evidence stuff. We got a mare. Okay, this room is way colder compared to other rooms. So here you see the thermometer drops consistently. Here, if you go here, if you watch closely, it will start going up. Which gives us this ghost room. And if you want to be 100% sure, make sure, first of all, it's not snowing outside or your breaker is on. And check for our breath, which we will get soon enough. We'll just leave it here, make the room a bit colder. Drop your EMF here on the floor. It's my usual strategy. Then put down a nice little camera as well. It's fine if you don't have the tripod. Just put it on a shelf or whatever, wherever you want. Okay, I'm very scared while playing horror games. And if you're like me, and don't want to get instantly killed. And if you got the crucifix, why not just use it immediately? We probably won't get folded, but uh, there is a chance. There is a chance, and we do not want that to happen. So they try to spread them out so they don't uh, overlap too much. But at the same time, so it covers a large area. Okay, so let's put you here. And yeah, as if you, if you just have the little dots pen, just put it on a shelf or whatever. The best thing is to put it close to the camera so you can catch dots and orbs. Now the crucifixes are put down. Let's go in and... Uh, get all of the rest of your evidence stuff that you're gonna need to find the correct ghost just to get them um, make life a, a little bit easier if you have a mare if you turn it on it immediately flicks it off that's a mare's ability and no other ghost can do that so get you get you and get you now this is empty except for the flashlight and the camera this is all of our evidence stuff which we will now put in here which we will now put in here okay so yeah the ghost has now turned the breaker off so let's just get our UV. Just checking your evidence, checking all of your good stuff, seeing if you got anything special. You see? Here, we can have this on the floor, and we can just speak in a room. And it gave us an elderly victim. I wouldn't say this is nice, but it's nice to have the uh, evidence. And you saw the breath, right? The little breath here. That indicates that this is a ghost room. And okay, so we touched the door. Want to check if you can see some evidence on the door with the UV. You can't, which means probably not the UV. But uh, it can take a little while to get the, those sort of evidence. Let's go and turn the breaker on again. We want light. A functioning breaker is a nice breaker. Okay, you see here? That is a ghost orb. The little floating thing floating by. That is a ghost orb, so... We can now go ahead, we got spirit box, and we got the um, ghost orbs. Overall, we had to have it ruled in, but... Uh, okay, so now, when you got 
five more pieces of evidence because there's seven in total see we got one two three four five when you have more evidence than ghosts put that <laughs> when you have more evidence than ghosts available Speaking of, it just scribbled in the book. You want to rule out different sort of evidence, which it can't be. So, for example, cross in ultraviolet, and you see that all the ghosts disappear. That means you can cross it up, cross it over. Freezing temps, we can have an onerous. Don't cross that off. EMF removes all the ghosts, which means it can either be dots, ghost writing, or freezing. You heard how it scribbled in the book. That gives us ghost writing. Yeah, as we said in the start, we have a mare on our hands. Either now, when you got the ghost, and you just you just want to live, and that is your that is your objective to just find a ghost and get going. That's completely fine, and go ahead and do that. This part is um, what's going to generate you the most money. You have three different objectives, which changes every time. It's uh, completely randomized. So we have find evidence of the paranormal with an EMF reader. We've done that. Get a ghost blow out a firelight. That we can do, and I will show you how. Well, it goes for instance while it chases someone. That we can also do. It's going to be quite hard because our sanity is not dropping, and every ghost has a specific sanity in which it can hunt. So this is what we call a firelight. It's usually here with um, with a candlestick or something like that, but we got it. We got it down here. And this one and this one. This is the incense. This is the lighter. You're going to need the lighter to both light the firelight. Firelight. You're going to need a lighter to both light the firelight and the incense. We got all of our three good stuff. Let's get going. So let's just light this up and place it somewhere in the ghost room. Then we can leave our little safety kit here. The incense blinds the ghost. And which means it, you can just walk through it if you want, if you have it uh, activated when you're burning the instance, which is very nice. And I mean, tier two and tier three slows or stops the ghost as well. So that's very nice. So as you can see here, there's 10 photos that's missing. I'd like to get these salts. You just place them down in the ghost room, take pictures of them, and you will get photos for the photo book. The photo book is very useful for the perfect investigation. You're going to need the 10 three star photos this will give you nine three star photos which is a very good start and then you just need a bone and then you got ten one two three and one two three so now we just need a camera and then we got nine photos right there this one you can bring another safety kit if you want just just in case and also make, make sure you check where your hiding spots are if you've been in this map for a while and your sand has drained make sure you know where your hiding spots are here we have the bone so take a nice pick of it and pick it up. Do not forget to pick it up. Because that is how you get the bone evidence. And here is the bone three star photo. Now, we just go in here. You see the photos here? We take nine pictures of them here. So here we go. Ten three star photos. We got get a ghost blood firelight. And find evidence of a paranormal with an EMF reader. We just need to repel the ghost with incense now. If you're just getting into the game. And if you want to do some bravery. Sure, go ahead and do this. Otherwise... If I were to start this game, I would not recommend myself doing it because I get scared very easily. What you need to do is, first of all, these crucifixes can stop hunts caused by cursed objects. There are different cursed objects randomized throughout the map, and those tier 3 crucifixes can prevent them from happening. No other crucifix can. Let's check for a cursed object. Because we need to repel the ghost with incense, and the only way to repel the ghost with incense is when it hunts. And we need a curse hunt for that. So, so I'd recommend stay far away from the ghost room, okay? Far away. Because you don't want to get the, the ghost to spawn on top of you and surprise you. So, you're going to want to use the cursed object. Here, the voodoo doll, you draw the pins until you draw the heart pin. Like you did there. And now it's gonna hunt. The ghost will sense your electronics. So if you have a headgear, it will sense it. And it will sense your voice as well. You see? It comes straight towards us. So the mare will speed up on line and side. So it will get progressively faster and faster. Freeze, freeze. Need to repel it. If you, you see the steps disappear, it's either downstairs or the hunt is over. <laughs> One of those two. Now, as you can see here, we have all of our objectives. 10 photos. We now have the ghost. That's it. You're done. Don't need to suffer anymore. You can live. You can take your payday. You want to make the most money you can out of your rounds. 10 three star photos, three objectives, one ghost, and one bone. So you can see here, these are new money. Perfect investigation bonus gives extra money. When you're doing higher, higher difficulties, you're going to get multipliers here. This is times one because we're doing amateur. And then bone evidence and photos. We have 500 from it. Quite nice, right? I really hope you enjoyed this little uh, different different sort of video. Just trying to explain as much as I can and as good as I can. I'm not the best at explaining. I just, I try my best. I want to try to explain like I would have wanted it explained to me when I first started Fastmo. If you liked it, give a like. If I'm just bad at explaining, not interesting. <laughs> Go ahead and throw in a dislike.
not an issue. And if you want to see more content like this, if you want to do higher difficulties, how, whatever, drop a subscription. I don't even know. It sounds weird. But yeah, you'll catch me next time. You'll catch more Phasma content, more horror game content, whatever you want. And any suggestions, drop it down in the comment section and I shall read them and I shall try to do them. Much love. I appreciate you all. You are absolutely amazing. And thank you so much for being here. Bye bye.